Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding invalid tweets and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Twitter interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called tweets with two different columns, tweet ID and the content. The data type of tweet ID column is integer, whereas for content column, it is varchar or variable characters. Tweet ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains all the tweets in a social media app. Okay. Write a SQL query to find the IDs of the invalid tweets. Okay. And how do we define invalid tweets? The tweet is invalid if the number of characters used in the content of the tweet is strictly greater than 15. Okay. The order of the result does not matter. Okay. So let's go through this example and see. So here we are given a couple of records with two different tweet IDs and the content written. Obviously, just by looking at it, you can see that like this, the second tweet ID has content length of more than 15, right? So that is why we are returning the tweet ID for that. So let's go ahead and build this query. So basically what we need to do is we need to return the invalid tweet IDs, right? So from this table called tweets, we are only going to keep those records where the length of the content column is more than 15 because that is how we define an invalid tweet, right? So where we use the function length. So this is a function which can ca calculate the length of a column. So length of content column. So now what in, if you go through this example, what this will keep only the second row because only here we have the length of the content greater than 15, right? So where length of the content is strictly greater than 15 strictly greater than means there should not be any equal to sign. So strictly greater than 15. And then for these rows, what do we need to return the tweet IDs? So return tweet ID and the output column also is named tweet ID. So we don't need to alias it as I think this should be good enough. Let's go ahead and run this and see if it gets accepted. So yeah, this is accepted and our output is same as expected output. Let me submit this to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and is accepted. So you see, even though it was asked in a Twitter question, which is a big tech company and usually people think about that, you know, questions asked in these companies is going to be inherently tough, but it is not that right here. If you see, this is very, very easy question, but yeah, this is how we develop such problems and how we think about it step by step. Let me know if you guys found this video useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.